I'm embarrassed to be an American. I'm embarrassed that this is the political representation that we have five months in to this genocide. Joe Biden is a genocider. He's a criminal. He's sitting there eating ice cream, pontificating on, oh, maybe we can have a ceasefire next week or perhaps the week after. It's an abomination as 2.3 million people less now uh, since so many scores have been killed. Uh, but starvation has taken hold, George, and we know that dropping a mere 28,000, I think, aid packets, food packets, as bombs are also simultaneously being dropped while people are starving to death. What does that do? It's a drop in the bucket. And you have the audacity of publications like the New York Times who just ran with a falsified story about mass rape taking place, hiring random psychopaths to adjudicate the atrocities on October 7th. And they're writing haikus trying to talk around this nonsense on the heels of this massacre, this widespread massacre where Israeli tanks and snipers open fire on Palestinians scavenging, starving to death. George, this is what we're dealing with. It's complete moral bankruptcy from the entire world. And look at two Congress people in our Congress, Cori Bush and Rashida Tlaib, they're the only people who have pledged to stop arming this genocidal apartheid state. I add Abby Martin on Twitter. You can go to earthsgreatestenemy.com and also gazafightsforfreedom.com available in several languages. Please spread the word. That is the great Abby Martin, journalist, host of the Empire Files.